Hello YouTube viewers. Hello eBay sellers. In this video I'm going to perform a test similar to the test I proved in the video titled eBay completed listings not complete. Our aim is to show that the eBay completed listings omit a full set of data on the completed listings. In this search we're going to use a different product description, different set of keywords. You can see from this page, I am signed into my account at New Image Imports. Just left the center top. We're going to go look into my seller's view at New Image Imports. This is my sold page. And these are items I have sold. The product we're going to use for this new test is this one here. I have sold quite a few of these in the last 15 days. And this is the title of our product. What we're going to choose for our keyword terms for this product are going to be iPod, armband, and sports. We're going to go back and we're going to look at today's date. You can see today's date is June 1st eBay states in its help pages that the completed listings date back 15 days which makes that the 17th so we're going to go back to the 18th of May so we can absolutely encompass everything that's within the completed listings time period for this product here which is going to be the new Apple iPod Nano armband 1G 2G K Sports armband however only relevant search terms are going to be iPod, armband, and sports. So let me scroll down here to where that date begins, which is going to be here, the 18th. And we are in the paid date. This is the date they actually paid for the item, which is the date eBay should consider as the time when the listing was completed. From this date forward, we're going to count how many of those articles were sold. We can count. This is the first one. And there's one. There would be two. There would be three. That is not one. That is not one. That is not one. That is not one. This one's not one. And I'll highlight it as a marker so we can carry it down. So far it counts at three. No, no, four, no, 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 no. Highlighting it so we can carry the search down. No, there's one, five, no, no, six, no, 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 seven. So in the completed listings results page, we should expect to find seven of this product under the seller user ID of new underscore image underscore imports. So let's test that. Our search terms are going to be iPod sports armband. Here is what the results page looks like. And you can see here from the top left that we have 2,180 results found for this product using the terms iPod Sports Armband. First, we're going to test to make sure that I show up in the results page and that the search terms for my product iPod Sports Armband is valid. We're going to use that using the find command. On every PC, you press Control F at the same time, and you will have a search window pop open. You can see I already have my user ID entered into it. To the left of it, you will notice that it reads one of one. Well, sometimes that could be misleading until you actually try to do the search, then it will read true. The arrows allow you to scroll through the occurrences on the page that that search term shows up. So hitting the down arrow, you can see here, just left of center, top, my username, 
has been highlighted in orange. Now I highlighted it blue. We're going to look for the next occurrence and the page doesn't move. That indicates that on this page there are no more occurrences of my username new underscore image underscore import. We're going to go to the next page. Control down. Next. Find command. Control F. And we're going to search. There's one occurrence. And if you notice here on the scroll bar, this orange line here and this orange line down here lower right indicate that there will be two other references to this search string that we entered into the search box and if we click the down arrow it will go find them and there is one occurrence of this product that I'm selling and there's my username highlighted orange now I highlighted it blue next occurrence bottom of the page that's my username and this is the product that we used in the first test okay so we're seeing that my product actually shows up in the search results and that it is listed and active now we're going to use the competed listings command which is over here in the left column down to show only check completed listings Completed listings page will pop up and over here on the right side you'll notice the dollar values are green which indicates it did sell and red which indicates it did not sell. Let's do the control find command again to see how many occurrences of my username show up on this page. Also note that there are 3,000 13 results found for this product in the completed listings results page using the terms iPod sports armband. One more check. We're going to go look at Firefox real quick. And let me refresh the page. You can see also that this page will be exactly like the page that we're looking at in Chrome with 3,000 13 results found for this product and you can see that the page looks the same. So staying in Chrome, we're going to do this test because Chrome is a much faster browser and we all like to get through this display. Okay, first occurrence, top of the page where it recognizes that I'm signed in. Next occurrence, doesn't exist on the page. And remember, there are no orange lines in the scroll bar, which also indicates there are no occurrences on this page. So what we're going to do is go to the end of page. I use another PC command, control N, takes me to the end of page, just like that. Bam, next. And we're going to do the control find command again. And we're going to check, scroll down. Hmm, no occurrence here neither. Again, recognize nothing here in the scroll bar. End of page, next page. Now we're going to zing through these really fast. No other results on this page neither. Control and we'll get you to the end of the page. Next page. Also notice I'm following all pages in sequence. I'm not omitted any pages. So we went one, two, three, and now we're heading to four. Control F, find command, find all occurrences, first occurrence, no other occurrence. Going to end the page. Next page. Find command. Find all occurrences. First occurrence. No other occurrences. End of page. Next page. No occurrences. Do notice too, if I'm able to go to the end of the page, then the page must be fully loaded. Okay. Next page. Seven. Find command, find all occurrences. First occurrence, no other occurrences. End of page, next page, eight. Find command. First occurrence, no other occurrence. And you can see by the flashing new image imports here that I am clicking that 
down arrow. So there are no other occurrences. Also, again, you can also recognize no foreign stripes in the scroll bar, so Google's not finding anything on this page. Control N takes us to the end of page, next page. First result, no other results. End of page, next page, 10. Find, first result, no other results. End of page. Next page, 11. Find. First result, no other results. End of page. Next page, 12. Find command. First result and only result. Going to the end of page. Next page, 13. We're almost done. Find command. Control F again. Checking for occurrences. First occurrence. No other occurrence. Going to end of page. Page 14. Find command. All occurrences. First one. No others. End of page. And last page. 15. Find command. All occurrences. First occurrence. No other occurrence. I'm going to scroll to the end of page and check no other pages. No other pages. Next option is grayed out. Okay. It appears out of the 13,013 items displayed in the completed listings result page, not a one of my sold items appear. Next, I'll be making a video test similar using another product. This next video is very interesting. Not only did I not find the product I was selling, I found products that did not sell. Come back and watch again. Thank you.